Oh, the things we'll buy. <laughs> hey, Deborah here, also known as Doobage42, with another Tuesday review. But today's Tuesday review is a little bit different. Not actually going to be reviewing a specific product or a place, but more like gathering of the haul. Yeah, there was a Sephora sale. And as you know, this girl loves makeup. They had their VIB sale. Yes, I went. Yes, I went a couple of times and shopped online and picked up little things here or there. Now, the way I like to do it, I don't go and buy the super expensive stuff. I like just buying a variety of things and getting to try new things out. Matter of fact, today's makeup, every single thing except for my concealer was either brand new or a repurchase of things that I've used before. Going to come in close so you can see new stuff, sometimes stuff that I never might have tried. A lip color that I would not have picked up normally, but I'm kind of loving it. Neat eyeshadow, a different highlighter. That's right, today I'm not wearing Jeffree Star's highlighter. I know that's a strange thing for you to see about me, but yeah, I'm kind of loving everything here. Now, I'm not going to go through and review the individual items. That would take all day. Here you will see some reviews on some of the individual things later on, but here we go. First of all, this bag is full. I put everything into one of the big Sephora bags so that I could haul out of here on camera for you. A lot of the things that I like to get are like combo things. This was one of the Sephora favorites. By the way, pro tip here, if you're looking to try out some different products, maybe some names and some brands that you might not be used to, this is kind of the way to go. Now I picked this up at the uh, Sephora at JCPenney because there's one I like to go with too at the Haywood Mall in Greenville. This has a lot of small sample size things and some full size products. You cannot beat the price on this. Now for me, yeah, $36 instead of 112, that doesn't even include the discount. Yes, you know, I'm a bargain hunter. That's how I gotta have it. But there are things in here that I normally would not have picked up. The Becca highlighter, it's kind of expensive on its own. I was like, oh, was it worth the hype? I'm kind of loving it. And you know what? That little small sample size will last me probably months because these aren't little wimpy samples on a piece of paper. This is like the, the mega samples, the ones in actual packaging that look really nice and, and are the real thing. Some more. Told you, I'm a big fan of the Sephora favorites. Give me some summer lip, some great ones in here. Ones that I may not have purchased like this. This is one of them. This is not a color I would normally purchase, but I'm kind of happy about it. A lot of good variety. $28, it says $70 value. A couple of them are full size. Most of them are like those super size ones that'll still last you through the season anyway. Fun stuff. Oh, I finally cashed in some points. <laughs> I got the uh, Smashbox Studio Lighting Secrets. Um, basically, there's some eyeshadow in there, a highlighter, some contour, and some of the under eye uh, moisturizing cream, moisturizing primer cream that I already had some of, but I didn't want to run out of. Hello, this came free. And yes, I tore up the packaging a little bit because it is Endeavor Proof packaging for some reason. Yeah, and a lot of these I have already gotten into. This is not a first impressions, honey. I dig into stuff when I buy it. It's like a kid in a candy store. Here's another Smashbox bestseller that I got recently. Um, lipsticks, full-size eyeliner, uh, eyeshadow primer, which I've fallen in love with and some mascara and some other primer. Just a good way to try things out at a not so bad price. Uh, the $24 price, you would almost pay that for just the full size eyeliner. So yeah, get more bang for your buck. Branch out, try neat stuff. And have sizes that are small enough to put in your pocketbook. Hello? This one, I didn't have a lot of stuff from Tarte, but apparently now I do because I've gotten a bunch of Tarte stuff today. But this is their treats. Great eyeshadows, some mascara, lip color. It's all in there. And that little compact with the eyeshadows is really nice. It's not just a cheap chintzy, oh, you're going to use this once and it's going to fall apart. I'll be carrying this around and using it quite a lot. Awesome stuff. 
Also, talked about getting stuff that I've never tried before. I did get this little three pack of um, cream blushes. Not use cream blushes much at all, except for like when I was a kid, I would take lipstick and smear it on my cheeks. That's as close to a cream blush as I've tried. I'm looking forward to trying these. They were a great price. They're a Sephora brand. They come in this cute little packaging, which I've opened and can't get shut again. It's got like a little candy wrapper kind of deal. It's adorable and it was not much money. I grabbed this one online. This I'm looking forward to trying. No, I have not even opened this one up. This is the Marc Jacobs Longwear Lip Set. Everybody has been talking about Marc Jacobs and their lip products and how wonderful they are. I had to try it, but I couldn't just buy like one thing. I wanted to get a little set with little smaller sizes and be able to really test things out because I like to try it all and I love to have a massive makeup collection. I know, I'm kind of crazy. Okay, I'm realizing now that I bought a lot of lip stuff. It must be time to buy lip stuff for me. Um, I got this Sephora Super Nourishing Lip Balm. Have not opened it yet because I got some other balmy things too. I did get this little guy, the Benefit They're Real Big Sexy Lip Kit. And I will be talking about that. I'm gonna do a whole lip stuff video because that's gonna be a thing. Bite. I'd heard about bite lipsticks before, but it really is the good stuff. Trust me on this. This is their amuse bouche. I don't know. I can't say those words. I'm not French or whatever. But this is a two-sided little guy. It has gold on one end and sour cherry on the other. I've actually worn it um, on Instagram photos already. And yes, this will be in the lip review too. Fun. Urban Decay Vintage. A trip to Sephora would not be a trip to Sephora without something from Urban Decay. Um, a lipstick that I should, I think I'm going to open it right now. I saw it there at the store. Come on, open up. Look at this lipstick case, y'all. Ha <laughs> ha! Coming up in the lip video. I saw Emily Noel on her channel talking about these several months ago. They finally went on a little bit of a sale at Sephora. These are the Clinique and Crayola a chubby lip crayon box. When I open it, you'll see some are missing because, well, one's missing. It's in my purse right now. Um, definitely be talking about these, but I'll also link to Emily's video below because she really goes into detail on them and she's so good at reviewing stuff like this. But I thought they were so fun, but I wouldn't buy it until it was at least a few dollars off because, you know, bargain hunter. <laughs> I've talked before about the samples that Sephora gives you. You get to try neat stuff without ever having to buy anything else. Um, some of the samples that I've gotten have been perfumes and I've never been a big perfume wearer because it, to me it's very overpowering usually. But I did find one that I really, really liked and that was the Amazing Grace uh, perfume by Philosophy and I decided I liked it from the sample. Matter of fact, I still have some of the sample left. I use very little and I just, I love the smell of it. It just, it's so pretty and feminine to me without being overpowering. I actually bought an actual container of it. Yes. I think that's the first time I bought, bought any actual fragrance for myself like that since I was a teenager. That's been a long time ago, y'all. Most everything else that I picked up were repurchases. Um, I did pick up a couple of mascaras that I didn't pull up and show you. I have some foundations that I bought. One was a repurchase and one was a brand new one. Um, today I'm wearing one of the repurchases. And also, I bought myself a brush. Oh yes. It is so soft and so floofy. And yeah. It makes me just want to put makeup on just to have this brush feeling on my face because it is so nice. This is one of the brushes from Sephora. Their Pro Featherweight Powder thing, number 91. I'm not sure why they have numbers, but there it is. I'll talk about that at some point in the video too. But for right now, I just want to play with it. Did you go to Sephora during the big sale? Do you have a haul of stuff that takes like a big bag to hold from doing that? How big is your makeup collection? It might be bigger than mine. I feel like mine is growing at an exponential rate. 
but I've seen people that have a whole room for makeup. I don't have that yet. Which things would you like to see me review? I know I've got a lip review coming up and that's going to be a fun one because I love lipsticks. Got a big canvas. Hello. What else? Would you like to see some of the powders, some of the eyeshadows, some of the mascaras because I have several now. Um, it's going to be fun to check out anyway. Please click up here to see some more Tuesday reviews on a variety of things. Down here you can subscribe. Also click that like button before you go wherever it is down here. <laughs> I do 3D videos three times a week, different subjects. I'd love to see you come back. See ya.